And today, after the polls, a lot of reactions are already pouring in on what happened, what did not happen, the different reflections that the different political parties and the different perspectives that they have towards this election. Let's get some reaction, especially from the camp of the runner-up, that's uh, Mr. Shagoni, the Social Democrat Party. I'm being joined by us media, the party's media aide, and of course, an ally to uh, Mr. Shagoni. I'm being joined by Ms., uh, Mr. Moses Jolayemi. Thank you so much for joining us now. Thank you, Shil, for having me. How does your party or your camp receive the outcome of the election? Well, um, we received it with shock. Shock in the sense that Nobody expected that they could take it this far, you know. Uh, we have always known that APC was not sincere, you know, about the entire process, but we didn't know they were going to go this far. So the result is unaccepted. So, I mean, let's break it down so that our viewers can understand. When you say you don't know they were, they were going to take this far, you didn't know they were going to beat you this far? No, we didn't know that they were going to, you know, Depart completely from all the electoral laws. So you see, a so day the, you mean they broke electoral law? Yes, a day before the election, either a day or two, yeah, there was a peace accord signed by all the. That's on Wednesday. That was on Wednesday. Okay, thank you. That was on Wednesday. They signed a peace accord, and we thought everybody would abide by that, especially the APC. But on the day of that election, what, you, what we saw was display of tongue everywhere. There is, a, there is a man you all know, I mean, you must have seen his name in all the reports on social media and all that. One, you know, a driver who we have been talking about long before now that had been hired by, you know, the Fiamme government. The guy is called Mentillo. Uh, you know, is uh, I think he's chairman or something of the driver's union who we have been talking about that have been hired to, you know, lead thugs and to disrupt the process. And what we saw was snatching of ballot boxes. Where? Uh, we, we, during the returning of uh, the, the votes yesterday, when the results are being announced, uh, there's a local government where a complaint of uh, ballot snatching happened. Beyond that point, were there any other places where ballot snatching happened? There are so many places, and we are just compiling the reports, okay? There are many places that this took place. But are you saying that I there were manipulations of, the, of results? Of course, I mean, when you snatch a ballot box, what do you want to do with it? It's for... Oh, it's obviously how for manip manipulation. Sorry? How rampant was the, 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 the snatching of ballot box? Was it very rampant? Was it, did it happen in several places? Well, that's the report we're getting. It didn't happen in my hometown, for instance. So in, in your, I mean, your hometown is where? It's okay, Messi. Okay, Messi. Yes. So you lost in okay, Messi. What we saw, you see, I was talking about, you know, a departure from the electoral laws and in natural fact, a departure from sanity. Now, what we saw was clear evidence of vote buying. And we've been talking about this. That's why, for instance, APC never bothered to campaign that much. We were everywhere, okay? You know, traversing every nooks and corners of AKT State. And we were wondering why they were so confident and relaxed, you know? Not knowing that everything was going to be based on vote buying. So you, you, you witnessed... I saw it. I saw it APC. clearly. But did you raise alarm in OKMC where oh, you yes. voted? Oh, yes. I saw it. I tried to raise alarm. But it, you see, the truth of the matter is that the security uh, agents there look the other way. Because these are people who we, you know, suspect very seriously have been compromised. Before the election, what the governor said when they asked him a question whether he was satisfied or confident that the law enforcement agents were going to do their job, he said, look, you don't go into a match believing that the referee was going to be biased, okay? You play the game. And that was the mindset. That was the spirit. That was how we went into the election, only to get there 
and discover that the security agents were looking the other way. Another issue is we made it abundantly clear that if you want to discourage vote buying, the positioning of if we, this is ballot, I mean this is uh, secret ballot for, for God's sake. Open secret ballot. Right. Now you have the uh, polling booth there. Okay. You would expect a situation where when you thumbprint, you put it in the box somewhere right there. But what happened everywhere? At least I can use Okemesi as a microcosm of the rest of Ekiti State. I couldn't be everywhere, but I was in Okemesi and I saw what happened. Okay? When you thumbprint, you, they will now take it and display it and let the agents are standing there. Okay? Who will see that I have done what you asked me to do? And there is another gentleman or gentlewoman, whoever, standing somewhere there who will give a nod to another person who will now give a nod to the other person somewhere where the money is going to be given. You also saw videos of people arrested, you know, with money. EFCC arrested people. Okay? I don't know what's happening to them now. But you see, they have all the power. So yeah, all, they are, they, all yeah, this happened. Here. So because the, the failures and the stories we are getting, the reports that we have, is that most of the political parties engage in vote buying. How much of that did you do in your we, party? We couldn't engage in vote buying because they themselves had been saying that we didn't have money. But we had the people. And we thought they were just going to allow the people to exercise their voting rights. So your party, SDP, did not buy any votes? We, we, we were not buying votes. We couldn't buy votes. We couldn't. We couldn't buy so, votes. So, so, I mean, what is the position of the candidate as of now on the election, the outcome of the it's election? It's unaccepted. He has, has, is, is he rejecting the election? He is rejecting the election. Look, if you know Shegwoni very well, he's a gentleman, you know him. Everybody knows him. Even those on the other side, the opposition, they know him as Omalu Abi, as somebody who would want to take things in this, right? You know, make sure everything goes well, rule of law, due process, blah, blah, blah. That's the kind of person he is. If this thing had gone well, Shegwoni would have been the first to, to, to congratulate the, the other guy. Okay, because he is not into do or die politics. I'm not into that too. I mean, uh, you know, I mean, uh, I'm not a professional uh, politician. I'm a professional, I mean, I'm a journalist. Eh? So you can say I'm a professional in politics, not a professional politician. So as a result of that, it is not a do or die for me. We just felt this is an opportunity for us to rescue Ekiti from what they are going through. And everybody knows it. It's clear in the land what Ekiti people are going through. But the fact is that these guys will never release Ekiti people from their stranglehold. Come and see money. How they were giving our money. How they much were they given? Well, in some places, 10,000 Naira per voter. Some 7,000 naira. They will even come to the, to the line and tell them, you see, this is taking advantage, undue advantage of the people's, you know, poverty situation. And you see, I liken this to uh, Joseph uh, Stalin, you know, of all, you are, you are familiar with him, I'm sure. Yeah. He gave an analogy when he was telling his people why, how, I mean, how he was able to manage people or how people managed to follow him every step of the way, wherever he went, despite being a dictator and all that. And he gave a demonstration. He took a chicken, plucked all the feathers, you know how painful that would be for a live chicken, plucked it and threw it on the floor with blood and everything all over the body. And after, you know, a long time of suffering and being in hunger, he now threw some, you know, corn. And... The chicken rushed, you know, to take them. That is the style that dictators use. They will make sure that they impoverize you. Look at the states today. People can hardly afford a meal. Workers are being owed salaries. Months of, you know, backlog. So that they can, I believe this is a strategy to keep them in perpetual 
you know, bondage, so that they will continue to be there for their use every four years. So a lot of people, especially in those rural areas, saw 10,000, I mean, so this, this 7,000. This story of, uh, of food buying, because there are those who are saying, I mean, go everywhere. In fact, um, there was a, a guest here in this same place yesterday who said all the major political parties were buying votes. So, I mean, you were saying, you, you guys all, you, you, the board vote, were you, but you were not aware. If we were buying votes, I would have been aware. I'm a party chieftain. I would have been aware. But they, or they, outpaid, they outpaid your party. They are paid. No, they, you couldn't. Uh, I mean, match their, their, see, their let, the let, price let they paid. Let me, let me tell you. Ever before the election, we had been singing it. We have been talking to people against vote buying. Okay, and their response was that mm, they don't, they don't have money. Okay, but we thought, INEC and the security agencies will also support that crusade. We thought they would also support democracy, okay, to ensure that, look, let me tell you, if the positioning of the ballot box and, uh, I mean, the ballot box especially, was such that there was no opportunity of displaying what you have voted to anyone, mm. there wouldn't have been vote buying. I'm, I'm surprised we have never, in, been, uh, we yeah, have never been in, in support Okemezi. of vote buying. So this happened in Okemezi? Yes. It was rampant. Everywhere I went. Everywhere. So it's on this basis that your candidate is rejecting the election. Yes. Is that every, every unit, for example, show minimum that they rolled down there was one million. Each unit. I'm not talking about one. Each unit. They have all the money. They have all the resources. And they know that these people are very, very poor. They have made them poor anyway. So when you throw anything at them, it becomes very difficult for a lot of people to, to shun it, to ignore it. So what is, what is the step for your party now for the candidate? Well, the, we, 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 we have rejected the election results, totally. We are having a meeting tomorrow where a decision will be taken on the next line of action. Look, what we witnessed on Saturday, I can tell you, is, in fact, that was the worst I have ever seen. Oh, what about those who, who said that you actually paid 3,000 in Okemesi, SDP paid 3,000 in Okemesi to voters? No. In Okemesi? Yes. Where are we going to get that? That's the report that we're getting. That actually in Okemesi, your party gave 3,000. I'm very sure, I'm very sure that report is coming from APC. How many of you They are, are masters of propaganda. So do, don't forget that even shortly before the election, they rolled out a letter, forged Chegumoni's signature, and said the man has resigned, I mean, that he has stepped down, or he has withdrawn, and all of that. We had to be dealing that, with that hours to the election. So, so, you, now had a rally so you didn't think that this defeat was uh, square and flat? Sorry? You didn't think that this defeat was a deserved one from the APC? Of course it's not deserved. Of course. Look, the groundswell of support we have with the people is a complete departure from the results you're seeing. Your candidate did not win any local government area. Does that sound real to you, Chiu? Does that sound real to you? Let me tell you. So, I mean, you so have, let's get it clear. You, you, you have covered election here and outside as well as I have, and you know for sure that the homeboy advantage is all over the world. Go to Illinois, go and look at the votes, uh, I mean, what Obama was able to garner there. You will know that everywhere you go, there is homeboy advantage. There is no way. So one, one will make reference of, to uh, 2014. When Fire Me was beaten flat, flat, 16 over 16, by yes. Fire Sheik, yes. right here in the Kitty State, Fire Me could not even win his local government. And I'm, I'm sure you still remember Fire Me's position and his pronouncement over that same election. You see, when things do so, Shakespeare will tell you that when things do so conjointly happen, let no man say they are natural. When so you think that so, this is the, an unusual... Uh, it, it is unusual. There is no way anybody will beat Shegwoni in his hometown. Absolutely impossible. There are still so many things where 
likely to discover because we are not rushing into but be, beyond vote buying you think that there are other things that are being done yeah there are other things like what like the security the you know uh conspiracy that it was connivance clearly by the security agents you know because they had a duty but did they carry out the duty aside, i had to even ask them aside that what again in my own unit, for example, I told the police man, I said, look, what are you doing? Look at what people are doing here. Just look the other way. Because all of them had been paid down, you know, all the way down. Even coppers. Right. Is so what are you guys doing now? What is your next step? Our next step is we are challenging it. In How, court. when you will get to know. Because, like I said, we are going to have a meeting right. and decide on the next step. Ekiti people must be rescued, and it's going to happen. That's, that's the fundamental It's truth. interesting that you're going to court. Um, I remember the last time with Shegun Oni, it was Fahimi that went to court, and uh, the mandate of Shegun Oni was retrieved and given to Fahimi. Now, now, so, sure. I mean, you think that that can play back, it would play itself? Well, yeah. It, it's, you it's think it's, it's that you have enough evidence to obtain this video? Of course, that's what election. we are gathering now. Let me tell you, the, you know what is you know, making everything look calm now, is because Chegwoni and the rest of us, we believe in peace. If we wink, just a wink, to our supporters, Ado will be on fire. Ekiti will be on fire. But we don't want that because we want to... So we are going to go, you know, the legal uh, route. route and ensure that we do everything the way it's supposed to be done. All right. We don't want to plunge this you know, state into crisis. Uh, Mr. Moses Jalayami, because so, uh, keep, people keep saying that uh, um, the major political parties were, were, were paying money for votes. Uh, people said that your party paid 3,000, or some other party paid 10,000, other parties paid 5,000. But it was, it looks like the highest bidder. Those are the allegations and the stories <laughs> that we are here. But and thank you so much, Mr. Jalayami. Thank you very much.